I'm here with David Avsek. David is from the UPU's Postal Technology Centre and data is the subject of our discussion today. Advanced electronic data, or electronic advanced data, depends on who you're talking to really. Exactly. Right. I guess let's start with, can you just give us an overview of what it is and why it's the subject of everybody's conversation right now? Well, really it's about regulations at the beginning, uh, because you know it's a, it's a must-have now uh, for the last couple of years uh, in Europe or in other parts of the world, and at the EU as well, it's a must-have to uh, provide advanced electronic information for any uh, item you want to ship. And when, when you say advanced electronic information, what kind of information do we have to collect? So it's pre-advised and it's basically um, a customs uh, electronic declaration that you have to have on, uh, on every postal item. So basically to declare the content, to declare who is the origin and who is the destination person. And are we seeing that there's now a uniformity in what's required for every nation across the world? Well, the requirements are very uh, clear and uniform. They are standardized, etc. But uh, the readiness, the compliance, uh, is not the same, of course. And that's what we try to solve at the EPU, is to make everybody compliant. So how can uh, a designated operator or someone like that try to become, or increase and improve their compliance? Well, there's a lot of technology, and that's where we play a role at the PTC, to provide tools and services to make them capture data and more importantly capture good data. So, so when we look at compliance at the UPU, it's not only about the quantity, it's not only to match that uh, every single item has a declaration, but now we are increasingly looking at the quality of those declarations. And when you say quality of the declarations, what do you mean by that? It means the data. It means uh, that every single uh, declaration must have a certain number of mandatory uh, data elements. So we look that those elements are there, and we look also that they are well formed, like postal address are well formed, that um, the declaration itself uh, corresponds to um, an HS code, for example. So all that is part of the compliance. I think. And what trends are you seeing when it comes to compliance? Is it improving across the board? Uh, what is your general comments on that? It is improving, but it's still a challenge in many parts of the world to organize the collection of data. Because you know, when you talk about post, uh, there's a big difference with cargo. Uh, with cargo, uh, you, you, you will have X number of time the same item. Uh, with post, uh, if you have 1,000 customers, you will have 1,000 different mail items. So organizing good quality data uh, and the capture of this data uh, is a challenge in certain parts of the world. And so when you're talking to some of these postal operators who are trying to improve their compliance and improve the data that they're collecting, what are some of the pain points for them? Where, where are they um, finding that they need to improve? I think it's mostly about organizing different channels for uh, collecting this information. And that's where we help, because we, we have some, some web applications, we have some mobile uh, applications now for the customers, uh, we have a number of APIs to interface with other systems. So basically every postal organization now has multiple cho choice uh, to capture information. And so if you were speaking with a postal operator, what would be some of the key things that you would say to them to help them achieve better compliance? And, and indeed, why it's important for them? So it's really not a choice anymore. It's really not an option anymore. Uh, in certain parts of the world, uh, there's the threat that mail items will get returned if they come without that pre-advised uh, information. So, so it's really not an option. So really my message is act, work on it, and we are here to help. If uh, somebody wants to find, if a postal operator, a designated operator wants to find out more about what the UPU is doing to help to help uh, delivery companies and postal operators in this regard. What should they do? Who should they contact? Well, pretty much anybody at the UPU, of course, in the PTC, but it's, um, it's a very hot topic at the UPU. We have many people working on that at the moment. It's very high on the UPU agenda. David Avsek from the Postal Technology Centre at the UPU. Thanks for joining us on voicemail today. Thank you. Thank you very much.